All right, it's here. You've been asking for it. The chat's been demanding it. The internet's been demanding that this guy plays another game. That this guy does this. That this guy does this. Detroit was amazing. They said, bro, we need to see you play another game. They need to see... They want more of that rare gameplay. I just have to oblige. I just had to oblige, ladies and gentlemen. Until dawn, live on the Better Inga channel and on Twitch.tv. Make sure to follow to catch it all live. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to see more content like this on the channel, crush that like button. Enjoy it. Soak it in. Let's do it. New story. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Tiny butterfly, devastating hurricane. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Oh boy. Oh boy. Your actions will shape how your story unfolds. Alright, I get it. I get you. I get you. I like this. This is a cool little animation, isn't it? Your story is one of many possibilities. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Choose your actions carefully. Alright, I will do. I will do. Alright, a nice little wintry house. Nice little wintry house. Hello. Alright. Yeah, we're in the house. Right, okay, are we in a horror movie? I think this. God, I can't believe you actually did this. <laughs> Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Okay. okay. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Right, so there's a couple of couples here. A group of friends, a couple of couples, just chilling in a house. Hannah! Right. <laughs> bro, that's such a creepy little laugh, bro. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. What the fuck is happening? Mike? If I turn the lights off, you guys it's won't Hannah. be able to see me. Hey, Hannah. I don't think so, anyway. Alright. So she's downstairs. There's a murderer outside! There's a crazy murderer Dad, outside. Did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Alright, I'm playing. Right, okay. You guys want me to turn the lights off, because this is what it will look like. Is that alright? Do you want to play like that? Is this more what you want? Fuck! Why, guys? Why? Fuck you. We're in control now. All right, let's get used to this game. So I assume eventually I'm going to be able to touch something or interact with something. X. All right. Tutorial. Press and hold R2. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh, my God. Right, okay. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Going this way. Jer Jeremiah Cragg. All right. Jeez, Josh. Okay. He was going ham then. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Right. I've got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start. Are they doing a sex? Are they no. gonna making out? Bro, we'll bro. Goes from there. Who says let's start with a little bit of making out, bro? Oh hell yeah, bro. Oh my god. 
Oh. She's taking her shirt off. Why what? is everyone in there? Oh my god. Oh wow. What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Are they pranking oh, her? Just a stupid prank. Oh. You guys are jerks. You know that? Bro. Hannah. Use the right stick to choose. Find others. Wait, Josh. I'm gonna find others. I'm gonna find others. I'm, fi I'm finding others. There's someone outside. What the hell? I I did, guys. I didn't realize that the I didn't realize that the stats come up whilst you're doing it. Anna, what's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Oh no, no, Hannah. no! Because well, now she's gonna, Hannah. bro, bro. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Tutorial: Press the correct action button before the timer oh, runs out. Oh shit! Okay. Okay. But why you just? Uh, why did you run out here like this, bro? Why'd you run out this? Uh, we, we, we're gonna go fast. Nice. All right, can I change here? No. Right. I'm scared. Bro, we're just running through a forest right now. All right, one second. I choose here. No, I can't choose here. Uh. Follow footprints, please. I don't want to go that way. She's done out here, bro. Why are you out here doing this? Ah. Ah. Okay, dears. Hello. Ah. Hannah, mate. You it, Hannah. Why'd you, you? Why'd you run away, Hannah, bro? Alright. Yeah, because that's going to work. Alright, it might work now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. Turn that off. There we go. Hannah! Alright, we've whipped out the torch. Death totem? The events of the past? Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you how you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Inspect. Death totem one. Found on the mountain by Beth. Was she going to fall to her fucking death, bro? Huh? Where there's like whispers. Hannah. Where there's like whispers happening. <laughs> ah! Bro, what the fuck is this game? What the hell was that? I don't know, bro. I don't know, Beth. Well, what's that then? Hannah. Hannah. Yeah, Hannah, please come back. What's happening? What the fuck is happening? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Rare gameplay pending. Oh no! Oh no! Rare gameplay.
Oh, not the phone. Oh no. Oh no. This is the totem! But we're gonna die! Hold a hand, hold a hand. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Hold on! Hold on! Fuck is the analyst, bruv? Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. Oh. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Yeah. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. I know. I killed him, Doctor Hill, bro. So. No. Oh. You have committed to commence with this game. What? Well, this is significant. I have. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Okay, okay, Dr. Hill. Well... All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Okay, It is All right. essential. To answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay, Doctor Doctor Hill, bro, I need to work through what I just did, bro. I already, I, but don't smile at me like that, bro. I already did. Fuck, man, shit, bro. I, I killed two people already, bro. Rare gameplay, rare game, rare gameplay. All right, rare gameplay, rare gameplay. So, how? Did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, it's all right, isn't it? I don't, I don't mind it. it. Makes me happy. Oh, that's good. It's a nice picture. In what way did it make you happy? It's a nice little barn, isn't it? The sunshine. Yeah. Sunshine. <laughs> I see. The which word? Would best describe how you feel about darkness. Uh, I feel depressed. <laughs> well, winter nights are cold and dark. Depression, feelings of loneliness are not uncommon. This night in which your game takes place is particularly cold and dark. I would think that you might feel isolated at times does that bother you um no because i don't mind being alone well not much of a no person are we i'm very no well it seems we have uncovered a significant topic to explore in our next session but for now we're out of time have fun on your own Until right then do, do, no, but uh, Dr. Hill, bro. Dr. Hill, man, we need help, bro. Oh. And just so you're aware, chat, I'm going to answer things as I am. We don't fucking restart. None of that restart shit. If it's rare gameplay, 
It's fucking rare gameplay. None of this sending it back to the chef's kitchen shit. It's rare. What's this song? Until dawn, right. Hayden Panettiere. Oh, my ting. Oh, she's so buff. Jeez, ah, uh, yeah. Death. Today what? is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Oh, wait, fuck. On Hannah and Beth Washington. Oh, shit. Who are still one year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and yep. headed out into a snowstorm. We did do that. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the Hayden! My team! The officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah. Hey, mysterious, bro. I can tell you what happened, bro. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. Hello. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. Yeah, it is, bro. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that, uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. Right. I really want to spend some quality time. Is this her brother? The, Is this their brother? One of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. This is their brother, right? For the sake of my sisters. And, yeah, there you go. Confirm that. You it. know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, alright? Yes! Okay, bro. Who the fuck is Rami Malek? Jeez, this is the bot, bro. Blackwood Pines. One friendship, ten hours until dawn. Oh shit, right, okay, 10 hours until dawn. All right. 
Bro, bro, bro. This guy that just pops up with a knife, man. He put me on edge from the get-go. I don't like it. Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous. Diligent. Considerate, adventurous. Hannah's best friend. All right, cool. Hello? Someone there? Why everyone want to talk to plants so much? Path to the cable car station. Bro. This is just going to be scary, bro. Mm. Bro. Ah, I killed two people. That's it. All right, crow up there. Objects that can, objects that glint can be inspected. The gate's busted. Climb over. Oh, what? Chris. <sighs> Damn it. Yo, how do I get there again? Josh Warrington. All right, cool. Yeah, Sam, mate. You're never going to be able to do that, are you? All right, little glint here. Little rock. Saw the rock glint at me. Let's go. Climb up. Come on in. Uh, let's do safe. We'll do safe way up. Don't want to hurt ourselves now, do we? We're just getting in. We're just getting in to have a little bit of a laugh. Look at me rock climbing. Climb, please. Let's go. Adventurous and diligent, see? Adventurous and diligent. Consider it too. Let's go. Well up. Now drop. Bro, who's heavy panting in the trees, man? Bro, he sounds like he's fapping. Don't like the little fappy man in the trees, bro. Oh. Aww. Hello, fella. You hungry? Huh? Uh, don't move. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> Cutie. But I didn't move. Okay. R1. Current objective. Head to the cable car station. Relationship status. Okay, she's not romantic. Damn. Oh. Well, we haven't killed anyone yet. We haven't killed anyone just yet. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. <laughs> cool. Black, death. Black butterflies prophesize the dream is death. Danger, red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Lost, brown butterflies. All right, brown is lost. Red is danger. Right, brown is tragedy affecting friends. Guidance is... Visions to help and guide. Fortune. Luck and good. Alright, cool. Okay. Cool. <whistles> Yellow. Okay. Right. I forgot what that means already. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Guidance totem. All right, cool. Here we go. Vision of guidance for a future choice. Indigenous tribes believe that... Cool. Yep. Yeah. All right. Play. Found near the lower cable by Sam. And it is... Is this Josh? Is that Josh or Mike? That looks like Mike. That looked like Mike from earlier. It looks like Mike. Driven man. I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. The past is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Yeah, a bit weird, right? I don't know like. Chris, you here? All right, so it's not it's not looking like we're getting in that way. a backpack. Hey, what a backpack do though. You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Mm. 
I'm a snoop. I'll snoop. I don't know where my friend is, bro. A butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. Oh, shit. Okay. Ashley. He knows it. Oh, shit. Chris. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, and methodical. Uh, methodical. Has a crush on Ashley. Protective. You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well... Thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Well, where was you, bro? You went out here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Is it actually? How much so is he going to blow this mind? Cause my mind, my mind's pretty hard to be blown, bro. I don't know if you, I don't know if you know me. Pretty rad, right? What is it? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing oh. at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Chris, cable car station, right. twenty-one eleven. Here goes. Right. Okay. <laughs> Boom! Smashed it. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Look at me, fucking sure shot me. Let's go. Wow, nice smoking, uh, smoking on the right. sticks. I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, yeah, I don't think maybe. So, girl. Well, anybody in their Jeez. brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh no, 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 no! Allow it, bro. I ain't, I ain't shooting this girl. I ain't shooting this girl. Nope. But I ain't shooting the squirrel. I will not shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. I will not shoot the squirrel. Got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting right. the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Squirrel. As JJ would say, it's squirrel. Butterfly effect update. Right, okay. I'm controlling him now. Status update. Alright. Wanted. Wanted poster. Clue found. Inspect. Wanted poster. Found. Call. A torn wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain. Dated 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. Uh, Victor Milgram. Male, six foot two. Last known address. All right, cool. Oh, man. Look at this. Well, don't hug nice. yourself. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Probably not, mate. Someone thought so. Hey, that's weird. No, it's not. You knew that already, Sam. Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's creepy. That's weird. Let's go. Is it dog? That's for you. Oh, real Snowboards! I love snowboarding. Snowboarding's lit. Let's go. All right, we're in. Cool. was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of game time at the <laughs> shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. So beautiful. Blackwood Pine. Hotel and sanatorium. Sleeping. For healthy body and mind. Cool. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. <laughs> What's this then? It looks like something out of Saw. 
It looks like something out of saw. Hmm. What exactly was I meant to do in here then? Finally, you coming? Uh, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. All right, we're getting the cable car. Let's go. I feel like someone could die in this cable car. I feel like I could kill someone here, chat. Hello. I could kill someone here, I think. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. Oh, he got bro zoned. Thanks, you know what, bro. Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened. Thanks, bro. The trip. <sighs> you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Bro. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Bro, this is so boring. Okay, so. This is so, so boring. I got moved to the back. And. And right. next to Josh, that's how we met. Okay. And became friends to this day. Match Great. Made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Bro, right now, you're making me want to go to sleep. To some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh. Butterfly effect, yeah. We're just boring, man. Hey, who's this? Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, trusting, irreverent, confident. She seems like she's gonna be one of them like, oh my god. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, right, come on then, let's do our meet and greets. Jeez, meet and greets. Come on then. Oh! What the shit. Hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica, over here! Uh are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Yeah, do it then. She... Oh I, I, I like the ponytails. God. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. But so chill. Muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal. That's not. Ground. Do yeah. Not be a okay, jerk. I did do that. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. I'm gonna explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Oh. I mean, honesty. Honesty is the best policy, right? All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. To get entire honesty is the best policy. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See she... who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. <laughs> uh, Sam? Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. It is nice. I like the view. Seriously, I like the view. they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Okay. Hello, Emily, mate. How are you? Matt, 
Emily's new boyfriend. Ambitious, active, and motivated. Okay, Matt. I feel like I'd like you, Matt. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Okay, Emily moving like a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Emily, Emily, Emily moving kind of sus now already. All right. We're almost there. Emily I'm moving kind of just. Out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up. Em Emily got me carrying the bag and she complaining about no bellhop on a mountain. What do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> okay, not like that. Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Well, she was she was persuasive as well, so it makes sense. <laughs> you guys, Michael. All right. You really, really should have. It was definitely Mike I saw earlier on the premonition because the the nice. the flannel. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on, guys. We're all friends here, right? No need for violence. Just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Oh, tell her. Uh, welcome. Just welcome. We're the new Michael. one here. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, yeah, yeah, nice, now. Matt. And move on. Matt took yeah. it on the chin. Yeah. Nice you, work, boy. Nice work. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. We're good. All good. There we go. Yeah, gonna make out now. Oh my god, totally. We're so. Bro, what's he doing? Uh, what's he moving like that? Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Right. Okay. Oh crap. And now look. What? Hey, could you take <laughs> these the rest of the way? Like you was taking them. Yeah. You. All the bags. Oh. Uh, you. Yeah. Why? I need to go find Sam. She went take. Wait. Okay. Sorry, I just I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt. Please. Agree. Okay. Yeah, I'll go because I'm a good boyfriend. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me. Well, the more even at least. I'll think about it. What do you mean I'll think about it, bro? Listen, if I'm taking if I'm taking your bags up to the lodge, I want at least a little hair playing with. I at least I want nice a nice little shoulder rub, or a or a hair hair play with, bro. Just a nice evening in. All right, come on, carrying bags for no fucking head rubs. Come on. Hello, Ashley has a cross inquisitive, forthright, and academic. Ashley, you really want to cross on Chris? You, you really want to cross on Chris? Oh, she's sat down there. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expedition. This bitch! This bitch! Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, what? Matt. I did mean to Fuck's sake. scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Bro, the scary it's man. What are you looking at? Oh. Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, Mislead. Uh, ah. Ah. Matt's a nice guy. I feel like honesty is the best policy. Honesty's the best policy. You fuck Emily, bitch. Um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen. It's probably nothing. The nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. Matt, you're nice, bro. Ah, oh, Matt's a nice guy. I like Matt. 
Yeah, Emily. Listen, if Emily dies, bro. Uh, 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 Matt deserves better. I'm reading my book. Emily belongs to the mountain. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. So this is his but new thing. But to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? You want smoke? You'll get smoke. I, well, I don't know. When you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Billing Blau. <laughs> Ray. What a shot that was. You know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Blow! Oh, ah! Hey! Oh, snap! Out of here, bro. I'm better. Just so much better. <laughs> Hello? Come on. Hey, Mike. Better. Just so much better. So much better, bro. What's the bird? What's the simple? What's the bird doing? Oh shit! Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Oh fuck! This is it. This is the thing. This is the thing. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Oh, right. Oh, right. And then what? Oh, no more. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. I'm so scared. I'm scared. Gotcha. Done. Done city. So okay. Go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My she... my. So are we calling it my favorite She's, she's kind of bad. Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that sounds she's, vaguely she's dirty. She's kind of bad, my lady. She can't, is she kind of bad? All right, grab snowball. I'm grabbing snowball. Ah! That's what you get for being a cheater, bitch. Oh, I know, oh, you, bro. Oh. I know you're a cheater. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. No simping. No simping. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. We will not simp. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out She's here trying to be beach. outside. I know her games. I know what... Bro, I know what these girls are like. They, she want to be outside. She wants, she wants that public beat, bro. Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Right. Let's get on that cable car and let's skedaddle. Who are you? Who's that? Oh, hello, mate. Dr. Phil again. Let us now, lad. Dr. Hill, not Phil. I said Dr. Phil. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Imagine if it was up. <laughs> Imagine if it was Dr. Phil. And how are we feeling? I felt that we made some good progress in the last session. I feel like we did too, man. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. Oh, no. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Bro, bro, who, pick up that book. who's pointing fingers at anxiety, my guy? You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay, right. Women, bro, of course. Of course women worry me, bro. Their games are crazy. Uh, crowds more than planes. I fear drowning more than heights. I fear snakes more than rats. How you feeling about these answers, bro? How you feeling? Knives scare me more than guns.
Uh, I don't, I don't fear cockroaches. Yeah, hello, Dr. Hill. Clowns scare me more than scarecrows. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Gore doesn't really disgust me, so I'll go with crow crows are scary. Because you know something bad's happening with crows. Oh, you oh. fucking shit. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Dumping up. Why is Dr. Hill scaring me, bro? It's a therapy session, my guy. Please leave Try me alone. Speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be. That's what I'm doing, bro. Chill. You want to find this I'm experience. fucking speeding them up, you fucking loser. Snakes. Uh, not needles, crows. Zombies, nice no, clowns still. I. It's not dogs, but that dog, that dog is scary. Ah, uh, dogs. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. Yep, I did do that diligently. Snakes, clowns, and dogs. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. Have I just written my own jump scares? Uh, Is this what I've just done? I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Bro, if I see a fucking. Uh, if I see a motherfucking clown in this game, bro, I'm a. Right, Dr. Hill, good session, mate. Cheers. Appreciate you.